Hello everybody, welcome back to Blues Focus TV for yet another full-time match reaction video and another loss, another loss, a second loss uh, of the week. Uh, obviously losing 1-0 to Cardiff on Tuesday night, uh, a team who hadn't won a game of football since November 5th. Um, and today we've lost to Huddersfield Town, who do sit uh, in the relegation zone. We lost two goals to one, obviously Neil Warnock's first game in charge of Huddersfield, so a new manager bounce, I'm sure. Um, but nonetheless, still a really disappointing result. I think teams like these, Huddersfield and Cardiff, we really need to be not only picking up more points because zero out of six is simply nowhere near good enough, um, but certainly upping the performance because I thought for the last 15 minutes, I thought we were good. We took the game to Huddersfield as expected. Um, Huddersfield were naturally going to sit back being a, a goal to the good um, and we were naturally going to attack more. Um, but prior to that last 15 minutes, the first 75 was just not good enough. We did start the game well. Troy Deeney finding the back of the net in the sixth minute. A nice left-footed cross um, from Jininho Bakuna. Uh, well left by Hogan, actually. I thought Hogan was going to take a touch on it. But he, it looked like he intentionally uh, tried to avoid it as he knew Deeney was back post. And, and there he was. Um, awkwardly hit into the net by Troy Deeney. Seemed to come off his right knee, but we don't care. It was a, a good finish from Troy, and he was a, one of the few players today who I thought did have a good game, to be honest. So a nice finish from him, but sadly, our lead didn't last too long. Joseph Hungbo, um, I think that's how you say his name. Sorry, Huddersfield fans, if I butchered that. But um, a really nicely taken finish from himself, to be fair. Potentially could have been avoided. I think we could have pressed him a little better. Um, but nonetheless, it was a fantastic finish by him to find the uh, top left corner of the goal. Um, on the right-hand side, left-footed effort. It was just really nicely taken. Um, as I said, maybe Colin or Trusty could have been a bit quicker to closing down. Um, but there you go, it is what it is. Huddersfield managed to equalise. And then not too long after the break, they managed to get their, their second goal through Heedley. Again, a nicely taken finish, to be honest. Both Huddersfield's uh, goals were really well taken. Probably could have been uh, prevented by us on both occasions. I thought for the second goal, Colin was a little bit sloppy, letting the ball uh, carry over his head the way it did. Um, and it just gave Heedley enough space to get the shot off and beat John Brady. Um, but that, that that got Huddersfield their second goal. And sadly, we just weren't able to get back into the game. As I said, last 15 minutes, we started to pile on the pressure a little bit more. Um, but it seemed to seemed to look like no matter what we did, uh, the ball just wouldn't end up in the back of the net. We did hit the post um, just before Heedley's goal and Huddersfield's second for a Troy Deeney header. Um, gutted that didn't go in. It looked like... From the angle I was, it looked like it was heading straight into the back of the net, but sadly wasn't able to convert. Uh, Dini did have another chance, actually, after Heedley's goal, um, about six yards out. He looked to chip it, practically one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. That sailed over the crossbar. In terms of other chances, we had Gary Garner had one fairly late on, probably 90 minutes, plus 10, and it was just a volley from the edge of the box that sailed just wide of the post. So we had chances today. We created opportunities. We could have scored more than one. Um, but sadly, we just weren't able to take them and I just don't feel we had that cutting edge. And it's more coming away from the performances at the moment because at this stage of the season, points are vital. Points are vital for survival and, and pushing for a mid-table finish and we're just not picking up the results. I mean, I've got them up here. If we look at our recent results, obviously losing 2-1 to Huddersfield today, 2-0 to Cardiff midweek. We obviously had those two fantastic results. Um, against Baggies and Swansea, uh, both 2-0 and 4-3. But you look outside of that, I mean, in terms of the league, a 2-1 loss to Preston, a 3-1 loss to Borough, a 4-2 loss to Bristol City, a 1-0 loss to Hull, a 3-0 loss to Burnley. Um, we obviously drew 0-0 to Blackburn, uh, Blackpool, sorry, first game back from the World Cup, and we did manage to pick up a 3-2 win at Reading. So these results, all in all, just simply aren't good enough for a team who are looking at survival. And it's, it's just so infuriating to see. And I know there's problems with ownership and all this sort of stuff that in the long term, yes, is killing the club and ruining things. But Eustace and the players simply have to take responsibility because uh, the results since the World Cup haven't been anywhere near good enough. Um, performances haven't been anywhere near good enough. And to be honest, we look like we have in previous seasons under Boya, under Karanka, under Clotet. We're, we're in a similar position. We're, we're near the bottom, bottom of the league. We're in another... Not, I wouldn't say relegation scrap yet, but we're certainly looking like relegation candidates. And yes, I agree that Eustace has certainly improved the team and got us playing slightly better football. But at the end of the day, looking at the bigger picture, what matters are results and results haven't been good enough and results have been similar to what they've been in previous seasons. So am I saying get rid of Eustace? No, I'm not saying get rid of Eustace, but I think things have to change quickly 
um, before that starts to come into consideration. Because let's say we lose the next three or four. Blackpool beat Stoke today 1-0. Obviously, Huddersfield beat us. Cardiff beat Reading with a late goal last night 1-0. So three teams right by the bottom. We're going to slowly start to pick up again. We could easily get dragged into this. So if, if things don't change quickly, as I said, I'm not saying to sack Eustace. I like Eustace a lot. Um, but he needs him and the players need to take responsibility and need to hopefully turn things around quickly. Um, otherwise, I think we could be in for a troubled last 10 to 12 games. Um, in terms of our defence today, I thought we were quite open at times. Um, and obviously conceding two goals um, is never great. So I can't rate the defensive performance too highly. Midfield wise, it was sad. Christian Bielik did get injured, had to be stretched off. Um, haven't heard anything since about the severity of his injury, but hopefully he's OK and can bounce back fairly quickly because we know when Bielik's on form, he is vital um, for our success. Um, and then the two strikers today, I said Dini had a good game and I thought he genuinely did have a good game. Hogan was quiet again, to be honest. Um, don't feel he impacted the game a whole lot. It's a shame because Hogan goes very hot and cold and he certainly seems to be freezing cold at the moment. But hopefully Hogan can slowly start to pick things up. thought Janinho Bakuna had a good game today, actually. Didn't mention him, but I thought he played well. So Dini, Bakuna, good games for them. Outside of that, I'm struggling to think of too many other positives. I'd say the three positives to take for today are Dini's performance, Bakuna's performance, and we did create a few chances. Uh, sadly, we just weren't able to convert. So in terms of the championship table, that keeps us in 18th place, uh, seven points off the drop. Um, so again, as I said earlier, not looking too good, um, but hopefully we can slowly start to pick things up because things need to turn around very, very soon. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it informative uh, to the Blues fans who travel to Huddersfield. I hope you had a safe journey back um, and enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, keep right on.